Hi, I'm Debbie and this is Book and Buto, where I talk about all things books, bullet journals, and stationery. Today I am setting up my June reading journal. First, let's take a look at May. So I have my May dashboard with my calendar of when I started and completed books. So my purple dot is when I started it and the number coincides with the number down here. So I started The Princess Bride here and I finished it on the 18th and this is where I keep track of how many pages I read that day or how many hours I listened to and I use my bookmark here to keep track of that. And I think it's kind of interesting because on the 17th and 18th of every month so far this year, I have listened to exactly the same amount of hours, well, eight plus hours, which is kind of interesting. That's one thing that I like about these year and pixel type bookmarks. Like on the 7th, I read between 41 and 60 pages every single month, which is fascinating. I find that very interesting. And then there's some days in each month where it's a different one for each month. It's just kind of interesting. Anyway, <laughs> here is my TBR Opoly rolls from May, and I have two books left to read, but this one's only 92 pages, and this one's under 400, so I will definitely get those finished by the end of the month. And then I have my Hourglass, my Genre Hourglass, which has been a lot of fun to fill up. I had my book stamp and I used that to put the books in here and then I have my color code over on this side and I've been writing down what books they are that coincide with the colors over here. But I've got seven different genres that I've read so far which is kind of fun. And then I have my book club books. I still need to get to this one yet again. I didn't read it last month and I haven't read it yet this month. Luckily they have not uh, set the live show for it yet so I still have some time. And then I have my read-along books, my year-long readathon, so Year in Aldea and Buzzwordathon. I have completed both of those. Then my Goober readathon, I do have one bingo, so yay! <laughs> that means I passed. If I complete this book, which is The Exile, I will complete this bingo here. But I'm pretty haphazard. I didn't really go about planning that very well, as in making sure I read all of the books in one line, but that's all right. That's part of the fun. And then my May the Force Read With You readathon. I've been doing fairly well here also. And then this is the books that I've read. My, the first book I started, I will have the last book I read, my favorite and my least favorite book. And then I will fill in my stats as we get going. I want to make sure I have enough room for all the books I actually read over here so I don't like filling in the items down here yet. And then I will put my graphs up here. So here's an example. So I will add in my core stats, how many books I purchased, my ratings, and then the graphs for each of the different things. And then my reviews, and I'll put in all of the book covers in here. And then the ones that aren't part of my TBR, I put along the bottom here. And my theme for June, I decided, just like I did in May, I matched my reading journal theme to my bullet journal theme, and my bullet journal theme was Sunsets, and this theme is from Jashi Curran, and I will leave her video linked down below, and then up in the cards, I will link the video if you want to see me set up my bullet journal, but I'm going to continue the theme, maybe not quite as extensive as I did here with everything, but I will continue kind of the the little sunset theme here. I don't want to mess up my order here, <laughs> but I do have a couple of Tombow brush pins. I have some watercolor brush pins as well. I have a Flomo Creative pen that I got for Christmas. And then here's a few more of the watercolor pens and a couple more Tombows. And then I also have a Sakura Moonlight Jelly Roll pen in the size 10 and my Paper Mate Ink Joy in a 0.5. I'm also going to use my Tombow Mono Drawing Pens, Drawing Pens, <laughs> Annunciation, and those are in the 0.1, 3, and 5 millimeter. I will most likely be using mainly the 0.5 and then the th somewhat the 3. 
and that's to do like the outline of the calendar and some of those kind of things. And then I also have the washi tape from Archer and Olive, and I believe this is from one of the subscription boxes. I don't remember which month. It wasn't the December one. It might have been the June box, maybe, or the September from 2019, maybe. It's been a while since I've gotten those, so let's get started.
And now for a final flip through. So I have my monthly calendar and I'll put when I started and when I finished each of my books and then what the books are down here and my progress bar for that. And I found a quote that said, every sunset is an opportunity. Every sunrise begins with new eyes. And that's by Richie Norton. And I have my TBRopoly rolls here, my book clubs and read-alongs, Breath of the Wild Thon with Little Book Owl and all of the prompts and books I'll be reading for that. These Fang and Bone challenges will come up each week of the readathon. And then Library of Dragons readathon, and that is with Books to Ashes. And again, I will leave the links to both of those readathons down below if you want to participate. And then my dragon and my character and then I have all of the prompts here and this part I will color in if I have completed it and on this section I will color that in if it is a diverse read because you get points for diverse reads so the prompts my books and how many pages and then we have my stats which I will complete as the month goes on and then my reviews, which I will most likely need to move into these two pages as well, since I have seven books on my TBR Opoly reads and only six spots here. So I will at least get into this section of it, if not a little bit more. We'll see as the month goes on. Again, thank you so much for joining me as I set up my reading journal for June. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me. And if you made it this far in the video, leave either some kind of rainbow, a sunrise, sunset. I think there's a sunset emoji or a cactus emoji in the comments below to let me know that you were here. And until next time, keep reading. Bye!